Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Ghostwire Tokyo. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're talking about all things Ghostwire, uh, Tori Gates, side quests, spirits, etc. Uh, before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. All right, so as you know, Tori Yates need to be cleansed. Once they're cleansed, then you can fast travel to them. But that is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, when you look at or hover over a gate, it shows the uh, you know territory, I guess you would say, of that gate. Uh, additionally, below that, you see area completion. Uh, it tells you the number of Jizu statues, Magatama, and Tanuki that are within that territory. Additionally, at the very bottom, it says the area spirits that have been transferred. Now, one of the things that I didn't realize at the beginning, and it's at 30.3% 30, 30 right now. Uh, one of the things I didn't realize at the beginning of the game when I first started uh, was that spirits aren't randomly populated throughout. Uh, so, you know, you go through an area and there's like two or three here or there, and you pick them up. No big deal. And you figure if you go back to the same area, they're going to be back there again. And that's not the case. There's only so many uh, spirits within the game and in order to get that 200,000, 240,300, uh, you have to get each one from each area. Okay, so now it's uh, from 30.3% down up to 49.87%. Uh, so now all of a sudden it makes sense why they gave you these prayer beads, um, spirit perception beads allows you to sense spirits within a radius of 200 meters. You know, in the beginning, you might be like, well, what do, what do I need that for? And now, all of a sudden, it kind of makes sense. Uh, now, the maximum level, one of the things, one of the other things, maximum level is 50, uh, but that doesn't give you as much... Uh, skill points as you're going to need to unlock everything. Uh, in order to unlock everything, you have to find all of KK's investigations. So you have to get that uh, synergy level up to level 50, but you also have to get your... Or I should say... KK's investigation notes in order to get all of them. So those are the two ways to get skill points. Uh, Magatama is necessary in order to unlock certain skills and uh, there are some vendors that sell Magatama uh, but that's pretty much rare. Uh, so there you can see the spirit beads working. It'll point you in the direction of the closest one, or at least the closest one within 200 meters, if you have it at level 2. Alright, that was underwhelming. Alright, so... I know there's some up there, but... It's saying, oh, right around the corner. Alright, so let's go hit this side quest. Uh, side quest will also give you spirits. A doppelganger. Interesting. 
interesting. It found me. Take them both. down. See ya. Oh, you fell down too. Let me help you up. <laughs> what? This is one of those containment deals. So, what you can do is wait for him to try and grab the girl. And then you uh, sneak up behind him. Bam. Quick purge. Try that again. Unusual. All right. Corruption. You shall not pass. Alright, so this is basically a contam containment cube scenario. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle here. that are attacking you from behind and you got guys that are trying to grab the girl. Ah, shoot. You can't really leave the area, so... That's all you find. So otherwise they're gonna start grabbing the spirit. Ow.
That guy hits hard. No, you don't. They're not grabbing. One left. <laughs> More than enough. So you just kind of uh, deal with a lot of the uh, kind of urban myth and whatnot. There we go. Let's grab this while we're here. Let's see. I think I'm full on a couple things. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, and there's a telephone right here so I can transmit. And that should count for this territory. roofs because you can't grapple to them. Let's see if I can get grab them from here. So I don't want to have to go ground level again. Alright, so let's see, where are we over here? 63 percent. Okay, I think I was on my way here. Side quest should all be visible. Let's see. I have to go over here in order to get it. Oh. thought he was over open air so I no I was just down there why wouldn't you have said that the first time
So I'm kind of summoning the Tengu. Um, in order to do that, you have to have this one, this upgrade. So the first one gives you Grapple, which you get during main campaign. Uh, but then you have to you have a skill lock, which requires seven Magatama, which is the most of any of them. All the rest of them are three. That one's seven. And then that one you can summon. And I prioritized that so I didn't use any Magatama until I got seven, and then I unlocked it and unlocked the skill. There we go. There's a visitor down there, too. Oh, that was... Brilliant. So, that's the whole thing. You can... Spend a whole lot of time... Doing... Just kind of basic stuff. Okay, so there's one over here somewhere. The other things to be aware of. Let me go back to the map here real quick. All right. So looking at the map, uh, the shrine will sometimes have an offering box next to it. If it does, then you can go to it, and you can donate five hundred. Um, Mako. If you have it available, and it'll say like, I wish I could find more Jizu statues or Tanuki, or find what I'm looking for. Uh, da -da -da -da. And that's about it. Uh, I think those are the three things. 500, though, you have to donate in order to have that pop up. And then... What it'll do is it'll uncover the location uh, of a Tanuki or a, a Jizu statue or one of the relics for one of the vendors. But you can only do that once, but uh, there's a bit of a workaround. You can go, uh, you know, get the uh, location of a statue and then... Come back. I'm not close enough to get it. There we Oh. 
Ooh, there we go. If you have the skill, uh, you know, you knock them down and then you cleanse them before they get up. Uh, and that's like an early... Early cleanse because ordinarily... You have to expose the core. This looks like a temple. Alright, down to nine more Jizu statues. Boosting the core grab speed will make a big difference in the long run. I don't really need to pick up more money. Alright, so I got that. I'm going to get this, and then I will be mostly done. I do not see... oh there it is. There go above so I don't have to deal with the uh, visitors. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Unless I can grab them before... I always forget how quick by or close enough that would cause problems. Let's take a look at uh, inventory, see what we have. Uh, nine, seven, I could do that, or do one of these. Which one's the, oh here we go, 50 and 0.8. Plus, I can also do one of these. Timing window is doubled. Alright, where did I miss him? Where did I? Wait, oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, the... hit jump. It doesn't like to jump on the slanted roofs. Alright. It's sometimes hard to 
see where the uh, hint is going. And it disappears real quick, and I mean, it at least gives you a direction. But you're basically going to go on a wild goose chase. Eh, not a wild goose chase, because you'll actually get to where the spirit's at. Alright. So it's way over there somewhere. It's like 200 plus meters. Or not 200 plus. It's probably 100 plus meters. Yeah, having the added mobility of being able to summon your own Tengu helps so much, but it was so frustrating at the beginning because they don't necessarily tell you there's a bunch of rules associated with being able to summon like these slanted roofs they don't like summoning a, a tengu for that ah there we go I forgot what I was looking for alright so there is a Phone booth right here. We'll go ahead and transmit these spirits and see where we're at. Since there's no more side quests in this territory, we should be able to see. That is all. Alright. Gotta go back to the map. Go over here. 95.77%. Now one of the things is that it doesn't differentiate different territories, so... When you do your spectral vision and it shows you a direction wherever uh, one is at, there's a good possibility that it's going to send you those types that whole class let me see database because I don't remember characters the paper doll passenger marionette that those whole ones because they kind of sit sit back and uh, just try to snipe you.
There we go. Gotta get a little creative. Uh, charge attack doesn't seem to do even that four doesn't seem to do as much damage as like two regular attacks even fully charged so looking at my skills uh, let's see you have the regular wind weaving and then the speed boost uh, but then down here you have charge attack more shots so you get start with two and then you get three and then all the way up you get four when i do four a charge attack with four shots it doesn't seem to do as many as just like firing off poo poo two shots so i don't really like the way that works. I mean, sure, I'm using more uh, ether, crystallized ether, in order to do it, but... Alright, well, let's see where I'm at, because I feel like I'm way off. Oh, nope. I'm still in that same territory. Okay. Uh, but I am close to the offering box, which is pinging off of my spectral vision. It always makes me think there's something going on, something to find. Drives me crazy. So let's go see how many is left in this area. Because unfortunately it doesn't tell you until you transmit. All right, so we are done. All right, so there is an offering box here, which makes it easier. There's an offering box here. Uh, but the Megatama is not an option. Let's see. Uh, let's go right here and do the side mission. Jump. 
Now I'd say as soon as you get the prosperity beads to put those on. Sometimes when the wind picks up around here, people end up with cuts. The weird thing though is that they don't hurt or bleed. Weasel. Sickle weasel. <laughs> I hunted them, but I never got them. こっちを気にしていない。動きが止まるまで全力で追いかけるんだ。うう、いいです。やつの動きが止まったぞ。Gotcha. Oh, that's a new character. Alright. Nice. I mean, it's okay. But subset of, I suppose. Alright. I don't think it counts for anything, but if you talk to the person that gave you the quest, they'll say something and then take off. And that was the Magatama. 100%, so that one's 100%. So this one, 100%, that one's 100%, and this one's 100%. So this top area is completely done with everything. Uh, this one's got a whole bunch of spirits that haven't been grabbed. Let's see. I mean, there's not a whole lot of side missions left. Uh, this must be the closest one. Grabbing spirits is... Pro I would say... I would say grabbing spirits is the grindiest part of the game. I'll give you some dog food. Uh, it's always beneficial to give dogs dog food. Either they show you something that you wouldn't necessarily have known about, or they dig up coins, and if you've got prosperity beads, it's going to be well worthwhile, even if you bought the dog food rather than... The Finding it. So I don't have the prosperity beads. Prosperity beads double the money. So dog food is 500 make a and I just got 980. So, <clears throat> I mean, that would have been almost 19. That would have been 1900. 
All right. What you got for me?本当だ。赤い桜なんて初めて見た。それに おそらく血を吸って赤くなったんだろう。血根元に死体でも埋まってるのああ、埋められた奴の怨念が桜を怪我してるんだ。払うまで他の桜は咲かないだろう。頼む。俺の桜を助けてやってくれないか。カットアン
All right, let's see. Oh, here's one. Oh, it's right next to a telephone booth, so I'll do that. I'll do that. So if there's no offering box, then you just have to kind of wander around and look for the different things. Uh, use your spectral vision and kind of listen for that a little different pings depending on whether it's a uh, Two of them? I'll just keep going. sense to use water weaving. Did I already do that? Yeah, I did that one. Alright. Fifty for synergy and fifty. Oh, here's a parade. Um, let me before I. Oh, well, that's weird. Had a new one pop up. Double my window. Parades pull you into the. Visitor dimension.
could have used a uh, bomb here. So, if you want to grab anything beforehand, grab it before you take that last one out. And when you're done, grab the spirits. Alright. So, go back to the side quest that I was going to do. Vanishing. I didn't see. You think? I hope they all make it back. Alright, so. Here we go. Sure, you put it a good distance away. Okay, I was gonna say there's nothing here. Bypass these guys just so I can get to the area that I'm supposed to be going to. to the disappearance. There we go. I can use you as a bait. I don't know if you can see the guy. I don't know if you can see the guy. I don't know if you can see the guy. I don't know. So he was upstairs. Ah, here we go. Yeah, there's a 
bunch of visitors. Oh, here we go. I saw them. That's uh so that's it. So people weren't actually disappearing, they were just playing hide and seek. <laughs> that's so weird. I think we'll stop there on another one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time.